Hey guys, so I did something really impulsive last week. Today, we just went to survey some cars, didn't we? Yep, we did. I think it's a little stupid, maybe it's a little crazy, maybe it's a little smart, maybe it's a little bit all of that. You, you be the judge by the end of this video. So I'm going to show you why. I'm in my parking space, as you can see my spider is over there, and my mini is over here. But today is not about those two cars. Right? Because, you know, you, you understand when I show you the car Because I bought an Alfa Romeo right over there See the speed line wins oh my god, that's it's a no You got a cassette player with Alfa Romeo And in that day, the same day itself, I bought another Alfa Romeo Right over there, yes. And I didn't know this until I bought the car. Spaghetti, pasta, linguini. Ooh. I got bitten by the serpent heart. Destruction. I'm in a lot of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, I bought two Alfa Romeos in two hours. Okay, it was an impulsive, spontaneous. Bye. So, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, what I've acquired, what is the condition of the car, or talk about what I'm going to do with this car in the future. More of that in this video, as I walk you through this madness of Alfa Romeos. <laughs> So here are my two Alfa Romeos, which I never planned. Uh, that's my neighbor's Alfa Romeo GTV. But we're gonna be walking around these two Alfa Romeos. So the first Alfa Romeo I've gotten is the 155. So this happened because uh, I sold my Megan RS and I was kind of sad of letting go of that car. And I have no intention of buying this car over here. But Chris Wee, some of you may know him, he told me there's a uh, pretty decent looking 155 on Muda. I said, let's go take a look. I said, why not? Let's go and take a look. It always starts like that, right? So I went over and take a look. And uh, I somehow ended up paying for this car and taking it home. Okay. <laughs> so let's look at the condition of the car over here. The paintwork is in a deep need of a respray. As you can see, um, the lacquer is peeling off. It's just heavily oxidized. Oh, look at all that. It's, it's a, it needs a, a paint work. Okay, so um, these lights are gone, so I probably have to buy this once. But if I'm gonna buy this, I might as well buy all of it. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through some things I'm gonna be doing for this car over here. Um, so this is the Alfa Romeo 155. Um, this is a front wheel drive Alfa Romeo, which when it launched, it didn't garner a lot of um, support, but eventually it did because uh, the uh, quadrofoglio or the four leaf clover version of this car was in DTM racing and did really really well and people started to accept this car a little bit more but anyways this is a 1.8 uh, twin spark and it's the 8 valve one uh, there are two liters that are more powerful uh, but it's on 16 valves and those are known to have a bit more maintenance costs um, because we're running timing belts and it this will be changed every 40,000 kilometers or so. This one is running timing uh, chain, so it's more reliable and it's easier to take care of. And I thought, yeah, maybe I should, as an entry level Alfa Romeo, this would be a good choice. Until I decided to take on two Alfa Romeos. <laughs> but anyways, uh, a respray needs to be done. Um, there seems to be minor things here and there. Uh, in my opinion, there's no major accidents because uh, the fender panels are all pretty healthy. You know, this one is kind of it's falling off, <laughs> but they're pretty healthy. Okay, well, there are a few interesting things about this Alfa Romeo that make me want to buy it, um, and for me, it has a higher perceived value in my eyes because um, when I was there with Chris Wee, he showed me. Now I don't know much about Alfas. Uh, he showed me that this is the white body trim. It's a face lifted white body trim and it does accentuate the car a little bit more i do like it so that's going to be a more um demanded 
uh, model or trim out over there. And the second thing are these rims over here. Now, it, it needs a refurbishment for sure, but this is actually the Speedline rims. So this has got to be worth some money over here. I'm going to try to refurbish this as much as I can. I'm going to send the king of rims and see what Jeff and their team can do with this car. Right? We're going to clean it up, powder coat it, and hopefully we can keep all these words nice and clean. Okay. Now, something interesting. These tires, as Baldwin pointed out when we were looking at this car, as you can see, they're all cracked up. <laughs> they're in really bad condition. They're 22 years old. Still on this car. Remarkable, okay? <laughs> but this tire is going to get changed. That's the first thing I'll be doing. Changing the tires and uh, repairing uh, the ribs. Okay? So that's the first thing I want to be doing with this car. But other than that, um, it's in the deep need of a spray. Maybe all these plastic bits can be refurbished. You can see, oh man, it's all cracked up really badly. It's just old. Nice number as well, 898 Gao Fat <laughs> Cantonese. Okay, what I like about this is that everything is complete. Okay, most of the things is complete. Like it's on the car, there's nothing much to purchase. You know, like this, you know, those of you who restored 155s, you know that these things are, are hard to find. In fact, that could be one of the small challenges I have for this car over here because while it's still in tech, this thing has snapped. So I'm gonna try to use a 3D printer to uh, print this out and hopefully we can get it back. If not, I'm gonna spend around 300 euros to get a used mirror in around two to 300 euros. We'll find out when the time gets closer, right? Now, this car, I've got my keys over here and uh, it's pretty modern actually. Oh, there you go. All right. So I'm going to take you in for a little bit. Now look at that. All the fabrics uh, seats are here. They are in pretty decent condition. And the, and the rear seats, for some reason, it looks like it's hardly used. So if I can take a guess, now I don't know much about the buyer. Uh, maybe this car was just used as a personal car, right? The way I see the rear seats, it kind of just looks like it's her personal car and she used it only for herself, okay? So, uh, yeah, and check out this thing. Oh, wow. You have cigarette trays behind here because Italians love to smoke, right? So you got to have the trays behind so the passengers behind can smoke as well. Right? Preferably, preferably, they're not kids. Okay? But all of these are intact. They need a deep clean for sure, right? All this, it's filthy. Oh my God, that's, that's uh, ugh, mold, okay? all mold, moldy. It's in deep need of some sanitization and cleaning. Now, normally I'll do it myself because I love doing it. However, I'm very sensitive to mold. So I'm going to send it to Con and his team in uh, Euro, uh, sorry, Evo Club Car Wash and uh, they're going to do, strip out the car and do a deep clean in this car over here. Right? I'm sure the seats will look a shade lighter. <laughs> Alright? Pretty good condition though. And all the rubber bits, all intact. No cracking whatsoever. That's a big win. Big win over there. It shuts nicely as well. Okay. So, um, there you go. You got the instrument cluster. They're all working. And check this out. I do like all these buttons. They're all working. All right. Let me just start the car. So, you know, let's see how it sounds like. The twin spark engine. All right. Voila. It starts. <laughs> Alright, so check this out guys. Um, look at this, this is the aircon. Alright, so I got auto, economy mode, the turn it off, right? And and all of this works. The aircon is actually cold. Temperature, you know, fan speed and stuff. All of this actually works. Remarkable, right? And uh I you know of course they are they're fading out because it's uh, the old school what do you call this? Like this LCD or LED or something like that. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, that's old school. But um, it's all working. That's a pretty big win, okay? Dashboard, no cracks whatsoever. It's all firmly fit in, except for those rubber bits on the end there that's uh, cracked up, but we can find a way to patch that up. But yeah, everything is intact. And check this out. You got a cassette player with Alfa Romeo 
Oh, <laughs> new cassette player. This is so cool. I'm never gonna remove this. Okay. So yeah, uh, the fuel, um, the the fuel sensor is the fuel tank sensor is broken, so I have to fix that. But everything is as it is. And check this out. I shouldn't be revving so much because it's in deep need of a service as well. But but listen to that. It sounds good, and I want to. I want, oh, let's get it from the outside. Let's get it from the outside. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds so good. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to get this car like ready and you know, really pushing up Genting Highlands and just driving it and taking some road trips in this car. I can't wait. All right, look, look at that. The pumps still work. Wow, sorry, the, the dampers, the shocks are still working. So, engine's intact, a little rusty here and there. I think it needs a good clean. But yeah, uh, definitely going to change all the fluids, coolants, engine oil, um, clean up the air filter, you know, all that needs to go. There are some rust, but I got a good feeling that it's just superficial rust over here as the water was flowing through, you know, heavy water flow coming out over here. So it shouldn't be that bad. All this is superficial rust and um, it should be fine, okay? So, that's pretty much it. If I have excess budget to this car, I might change to an open pot air filter, right? And uh, change the muffler because it does sound nice, right? So, yep, four pots. And, uh, you know, it's not the most powerful engine, but you gotta give it some love, man. Come on, that sounds pretty nice. And uh, even driving this car home, I, let me tell you something. It handles really well. There's a very beautiful inherent balance of this car over here, even though it's so old. Oh, I forgot to show you something. This car from 1995, so this is 27 years old. And check out the mileage 90,000. You're kidding, you're really kidding. Such a good find. So, yeah, this one is going to be restored, re sprayed. Um, I'm thinking of spraying this car in green, alpha green, because I, I think it's kind of cool. However, um, I found out something really cool about Alfa Romeos. So, okay, let me just show you in the boots area. So I found out something that's pretty cool about uh, Alfa Romeos, is that um, there is the color code, okay? Um, the original paint over here. So the brand is Herbento, I never heard of it before. I didn't even show you what color you painted the car to be. So this one is Rosso Proteo, sorry, Rosso Proteo Metallica, all right? Or uh, 1195A. So that's the color code of this car over here. So I'm in the dilemma. Um, I do want to make it green to increase my cost because, you know, I can't, I can't deal with different engine bay colors and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to spray the inside and everything. Uh, but there is another novelty in keeping the car in its original color. So I'm kind of in a debate right now in my head. Should I get green or not? Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of this color. But uh, I think I can make it work. But again, then again, my heart thinks of green. Okay. So that's the 155. And uh, it's really taken up most of my video time. Uh, I'm going to spend the remainder a quick walk around in my Alpha Sat. So this is an Alpha Sat, and uh, I can't start this car because I pulled out the battery because um, there's a ticking sound and we can't seem to turn off the alarm and I don't want to drain the battery up from the car. So yes, this is the Alpha Sat, and um, when I bought this car, uh, Chris Wee and I was really in awe. I was like, and Baldwin, we were like, oh yeah, we got the 155, Thomas finally got the 155, the Alpha Romeo is an... You know, it's part of the Alpha family, Alfisti, you know, whatever, right? And then uh, the, the, the broker who sold me this car said, Are you interested in an Alpha Sat? So, <laughs> I went to take a look. And my God, it's moving. Uh, it's very minimum rust on the body. There's some in the engine bay. You know, it's actually, the integrity is good. And Chris Wee 
He's told me that it's, it's very difficult to find alpha sats on the road because most of them are rusted to the ground. And uh, I did some research and something really cool is that back in the days, uh, well, they called alpha sat because it's called south in Italian. Uh, it's a factory at Naples and it's near the sea, so it's a lot of salt. They used recycled steel, galvanizing technology was crap back then. And uh, there was an idea to put in, in, the, in the pillars foam to stiffen up the car. But the foam held water so it kept accelerating the rust of the car. Some cars were known to be rusting at the showroom. Now this is the 1.5 and it comes in later years, they should suffer less rust. Okay, as you can see, it's 1.5 Alpha Sat. Um, one thing really cool about this car, not only is it a hatchback, it's the fun fr first front wheel drive car from Alfa Romeo and it features a very unique engine. Yes, I want to show you the engine. Now of course, it's a carburetor as uh, Alfa Romeo's, Romeo's at the time all used carburetor. Okay. There you go. Now, did you know, and I didn't know this until I bought the car, it's actually a boxer engine. <laughs> yes, my Subaru friends, it's a flat four. <laughs> so it's a carburetor and it's a flat four uh, engine. <laughs> so yeah, I disconnected the wires because, you know, I don't want to drain the battery. Oh man, and it sounds so nice. Um, I, I thought this was a good financial acquisition at first. Um, because I, I think this will be well demanded because it's cute and you rarely see this on the road and people love this car you know back then my dad would tell me this is the, this is the cool people who drive this car the rich and cool people who drive the Alpha Sat okay but as I drive this car I hear the engine sound and my heart just melted I love this so much I I I, I, I I unexpectedly love this car a lot. So yeah, that's the Alpha Sat. Uh, a lot of people are waving at me because it's cute. And look at the design, man. Even like carving out that little to give, give, give an accent on the front hood. Oh, I love it. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like, as Bobby pointed out, and I agree with him, is the lights. The lights kind of make the car look a little Japanese, kind of like Japanese car look. Uh, Corolla, if I may. Um, nothing wrong with those cars, then, but this is Italian, right? You're going to make it look a little bit more Italian, like, like that one over there, right? So um, I'm going to change this to round lights. That's one of the things I'm going to do with this car. Um, I know it's not supposed to be in the 1.5 uh, variant on this. It's supposed to be on the TI or the uh, Quadro Foglio or maybe the, the, the Spring Veloce, right? But I think it will look better with the lights over there, okay? Um, most of the body you can see, it's all in good integrity. All right, I've been knocking the car all around to find rust spots. That have, that, the, the body shell itself is in great integrity and that's already a huge win for Alfa Romeo. Okay, uh, the lights probably need some changing because they're damaged. Okay, but these are cosmetic cosmetic issues. But of course, I've got to be concerned about the gaskets because then water leaks in and stuff like that, right? But uh, wing is there, right? The, of course, all these bumpers need to be refurbished for sure. And yeah, oh, the, the owner did a modification of this car. Check this out. The aircon is actually there. <laughs> the fan is actually is kind of crazy. So this car doesn't come with aircon. The owner uh, fit it in. Right? Great condition, this car. I mean, not great as in like modern car great, but for its age, 1975. So this steering wheel, look at that. Look at how this is carved in as well. So cool, right? So definitely it's a rewrap. Um, uh, this thing needs to be peeled off. Uh, as you can see, there's some glue. I'm going to peel it off and I'm going to refurbish this. Um, the good news about this is that it kind of protected this. And uh, I'm not going to rewrap the top. I want it to be original. And I'm going to protect it with uh, uh, products, stuff like that. But look look at all the door cards. They're all intact. Even the veneer, man. Look at that. The veneer. They're all there. It's insane how well kept this Alfa Romeo is. And check it out. A Pioneer and uh, looks like it came with the car over here, right? And Pioneer radio player with a cassette. I'm gonna get myself a bunch of cassettes. I don't care how I wanna find, I'm gonna get some cassettes with this car. 
and look at the dials it works by the way it all works i drove this car home from usj through the jam of one and a half hours and it worked fine insane all right the gear knob is wood but i'm sure you can find all of this after markets and stuff like that but yeah um of course the seats are torn apart it's re-wrapped before um i'm going to definitely re-wrap this i'm gonna do a Bottega Veneta or you know woven leather inspired seat and I'm gonna see what DK leather can do right so my idea oh yeah check it out I gotta I gotta wrap this roof as well but yeah uh, my idea is to give, give this a dark brown seat okay um, and then the exterior paint it back to red color because it's an Alfa Romeo this car should look cute in red color right but yeah it's in great condition and uh, I want to show you something really quirky as well. One side mirror and no side mirror over here. This batch over here, really cool. Um, I don't know if I can re... I think this needs to refurbish over here. But this is so cool. The serpent. I got bitten by the serpent heart. Really hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, check this out guys. Check this out. So cool. Got some parts over here. Look at that. Construction book. Look at that. Oh my god. So cool. Definitely gonna keep that. Okay. I know I'm in a lot of trouble, but I'm gonna enjoy this whole restoration process. And uh, you know, check this out. Check out the keys. City Motors to remember hut. <laughs> I'm in a lot of trouble, right? So yeah, those are my two Alfa Romeos and uh, the restoration journey has just begun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start with this car. You know, I, I shouldn't project manage two cars at one time because it's it's uh, it's gonna be tough, right? So I'm gonna fix up this car first, okay? Start off with uh, tires, rims, uh, refurbishment, and then I uh, get the engine sorted out, uh, get a full respray, send it to Con and the team, and just clean the whole interior of this car and then take it to Miyagi and make it look nice with polishing and coating on just like the Mini over there, right? and then this one, once this is done, this probably take like 2 months uh, I'll start planning out this thing over here, this one needs parts uh, but it definitely needs a carburetor um, overhaul so I'll, I think, I think uh, so we gotta fix up that engine first keep it here, drive it once in a while while I get this car done. Then when I get it more funds, this car is gonna go in for a full brass repair in the frame, everything, get those things sorted out, and then um, you know, fix up the engine, do the seats, and this car is gonna to go to Miyagi's and make it look beautiful. Bella, bella. Okay, so that's my long vlog of my two crazy purchase. I still can't believe it guys. I I I, I mean, when I'm driving back the other car. I kept asking myself, what in the world am I doing with these two alphas? I didn't buy one, I bought two alphas. So, there you go. Let's get this restoration journey started. So, if you want to get more updates on uh, my restoration journey, uh, my hiccups, on things I've learned about these two cars and driving vlogs of these cars, I think I'll have a ball driving these two cars. Um, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and uh, let me know in the comments below, which one would you pick? if you have to pick between these two alphas, right? Oh, by the way, this looks like a witch, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a witch. All right, guys, signing off. Love you guys. As always, keep it 100%. Peace out.